Hey guys, welcome back to Tech is Easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google form using your mobile phone. So let's get started. First, you have to open Google Chrome on your phone. And then you have to search Google Forms. So you've got to make sure that you've signed in with a Google account. And once that's done, you have to just click on the first link. So now on the personal, you have to click on go to Google Forms. And now you'll be able to see a form on your screen. So now I'm going to show you how to edit it. First, we're going to add a title to this form. So just click on untitled form over here. And you can name it whatever you want. So I'll just keep trial form. And then if you want to add a description, you can click on form description to add anything you want. So I'll just keep subscribe. And now you can add the questions. So you can see that one question is already over here. So to edit it, click on it. And now you can just type anything that you want. And you can decide what type of answers you want by clicking on this arrow over here. So the options which you have are short answers in which it'll be a two to three word answer, then a paragraph, which will be a longer answer, then a multiple choice. So in multiple choice, you can put many questions out of which only one is correct. Then there's check boxes where you can again put many options, but there could be more than one correct. And then there's a drop down. So now I'll show you how to say do a multiple choice question. So click on that and now to add the options, just click on option one. So this will be one option. Then to add another option, click on add option, which is below it. Then you can type B and like that, you can continue to add more and more options. So now if you want to add one more question, click on this plus button over here. Then you have to type in the question. And then you can again decide what type of answer you want the user to submit. So this one I'll put short answer. So then they can answer this question in a couple of words. Then if you want to make these questions required. So this means that the user can't submit the form unless they've answered every question. So now I'm going to show you how to add a question and put an image in the question. For that, click on plus again. And now you can see that there's an image button on the right. So click on that. And over here, you have different methods of inserting an image. So either from your camera, from your gallery, Google Drive, etc. So for right now, I'll just insert an image, say from photos. So I'll insert this, the first image. And now if you just click on insert after selecting it. And now you can see that the image has come here. So again, you can just add the question over here. And you can decide what type of answer you want. So let me keep it paragraph. And to make the question required, click on this bar next to required. So now we've added three questions. And if you just want to see how the form looks, there's an option to do that. So if you go to the top, then click on the three dots over here and click on preview. So now this form will open on a new tab and you'll be able to see that everything which you've put there will be seen here. So you can see the title, it's trial form. Then the question subscribe, there's A, B and C. So you can select any option which you want. Then for this image question, you can type a long answer since you'd selected paragraph. And for the question, hello, you can have a short answer. And you can see that since I haven't answered this question, it's told me that this is a required question. And to see whether a question is required, you can see if there's a red asterisk next to the question, as you can see next to hello. So now I'm just going to type any answer and submit this form. So I'll click on submit. So now I'm going to go back to the earlier tab 
and over here let's see the response so if you just click on responses over here so over here you can see all the responses you can scroll down and you can see how many people picked a certain answer and if you want to see individually who picked what you can click on individual and then you'll be able to see which answer a person picked then you also have an option to delete a response so you can see that there's a delete icon over here so if you click on it it'll ask you whether you want to delete the response and then you can decide then you can also save all the responses as a pdf or print it so for that you have to click on this icon over here so it'll take you to a new tab and here you can see the response and on, on top you can decide whether you want to save it as a pdf or add a printer and then you can print it so this is basically how you can see all the responses now i'm going to go back to the questions and i'm going to show you how to change the theme of the form so if you just click on this theme icon over here and you can decide which color you want it to be the background color the font you can change all of that and if you want a header image you can again choose an image and once you're done click on apply so you can see that the theme has changed to what we selected and if you want to send this form to someone else click on this icon over here so if you want to send the form via email to someone you can add the person's email id over here then you can also change the subject and the message then you can also share the form via a link for that you just click on this icon then you can see a link over here and to shorten it click on shorten url so you can see it's become shorter and then click on copy so then it'll be copied to clipboard and you can paste it wherever you want to send it and if you want to send it via facebook or twitter you those options are also available over here so now i'm going to go back and i'm going to show you how to link the responses to a google sheet so again go to responses then click on this green button over here and you can either create a new spreadsheet or add it to an existing spreadsheet so i'll create a new one and just click on create so now it's linking to a spreadsheet and you should just open it with any email id and over here you'll be able to see all the responses and at what time they responded so this will be really helpful when you've many responses you'll keep everything in a systematic way and you can easily go through all the answers so this is basically how google form works so i hope this video helped you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button goodbye